Hello everyone! Sammy has continued to explore the Japanese culture. Recently, he found a new recipe. We are gonna make a fiery craft today. That's why we need a heat-resistant mat. I'm going to make a stove with a traditional wok pan. This one. Hi, guys. Sue, why are you outlining the wok? Are you gonna cut something out? No, that's just not to be mistaken about the size of our future stove. I made a special layout that will help us build it properly. The code of the samurai is telling me to help you with this craft. Hmm, well, I don't have a task for you yet. How are you planning to cook your dish? First, I'll fry the fish to a crisp. Then I'll add vegetables, a bit of water, and braise it. Ooh, sounds good. Have you ever cooked fish before? No, but you're there. I'm sure you won't leave me alone. The code of the samurai says that a real samurai never leaves his friend behind. <laughs> I think that's the code of Sammy, not the samurai. Fine, these are my rules, but you will help me, won't you? Sure, Sammy, but first, can you help me put the bricks? Don't forget these bricks, they have special notches. They are for the central part of the stove. Thanks for reminding, Su Chan. Voila! You're welcome. You're so neat today. A real samurai should be careful and accurate. I can say you could be a real samurai. How do you figure that? Well, the real samurai had not only martial arts skills, but also creative skills. Holy cannoli, I got it! I'm gonna go practice with a sword. Great idea. And I'm going to fill our future stove with little stones. They will keep the stove warm inside. By the way, I forgot to tell you that our stove will actually work. We'll put the logs, light the fire, and cook a tiny dish. Now, spread the little stones evenly this way. Moisten the surface. You can use a spray bottle for it. By the way, we need to put several more brick layers. Look, I'm making a little curve here. It's needed to put a walk on top. More stones! Guys, give a thumbs up. I'm waiting. By the way, where's Sam? Then he'll complain that he missed some part. And you can hit the bell button not to miss anything, too. <laughs> I think I want to build a little more. No problem. So I can get some rest. I assume you've finished? I can't spend my samurai time only on building. I should master my warrior of light skills. I will have to fight the evil. The base of the stove is ready. Let's keep constructing. Sam! Soon it's dinner time. We'll have fish. The one I'm gonna catch now. Ugh, no, I can't wait that long. I'll go get fish from the fridge. So, how's it going? I'm making a chimney for our stove. Yeah, why do you smell like I prepared the fish for frying. I took it out of the freezer, washed and cleaned. Oh, good job. But didn't you want to fish one by yourself? I understood that fishing without my cup of tea. <laughs> wow, the fridge. <laughs> Sammy, by the way, did you know that the samurai must be skilled in some art? Usually it's poetry. I am skilled. Oh, prove it. How many ducklings can you see? <gasps> wait, wait. I know the rest. Quack, quack, quack. One, two, three. That's a counting rhyme for kids, Sammy. You can't trick me. Fine. I think that's a genius piece, even if it's not mine. Guys, support me. Give a thumbs up. Sammy, you're cheating. This goes against the code of the samurai. True samurai always tell the truth. Hello? Sammy, where'd you go? <sighs> Whatever. In the meantime, I applied the grout. Let's speed it up. There's still so much to do. 
We'll need one more piece for the stove. It will be made of concrete. I prepared this mold beforehand. We need our concrete to set in the shape of a circle. Also, we're gonna fix our construction with these rings. Great idea, Shu. How did you figure it out? Oh, I didn't. Construction workers did, Sammy. All concrete constructions are made this way. These metal inserts are called rebars. I want our stove to sustain high temperatures and be sturdy. There we go. Everything's so easy when you say it. I wouldn't have guessed that. Some of your ideas impressed me too, Sammy. <gasps> oh, like remember that cardboard dinosaur you invented recently? Oh yes, I still dream about it sometimes. Then I wake up and go to look at it. Yeah, it's so cool. I especially like how it moves. I think all of our crafts are cool. And this one is gonna be one of the coolest! Guys, give a thumbs up if you agree. And we have to wait for the concrete to set. Rock solid. Let's place it right here. Sammy, it's time to prepare the firewood for the stove! I'm on it, Susie! And here's our wok. The stove is ready. So wait! How can I cook without a spatula? What spatula? The one for stirring. It's over, Sue! Oh my thing! Sammy, too much drama! I'll make a spatula for you. Sammy has many requests today, but nothing can frighten us. Cool, let's grind it down. Voila! And shape it with the sandpaper this way. Sue, do you know what else I forgot? What? A basting brush. I even found the material to make it. Everything for your dish, oh, the greatest chef Sam. I'm dying to know what the super dish Sam's going to cook is. Let me tell you one interesting fact about this kind of pan. Your food won't burn, even if the wok is very hot. The ingredients are kind of floating above the surface of the wok. That's all about physics. A steam interlayer is being formed on the bottom of the pan. I made one more thing. This is a special lid. It's amazing. And I made a brush. Wow. Check out our cute little tools. And the lid fits nicely. I also prepared the firewood. Everything must be perfect. So let's test our stove. Guys, be very careful with fire. Light a fire only under adult supervision. I did the most important thing. I put on my cook suit. Bring the ingredients for your dish while I'm stoking the fire. Did you talk about the safety rules? Sure. Fire is not a plaything. Let's get started! Hmm, it's hot enough. Let's add some oil. Spices. And herbs. Here comes the main ingredient, the fish! Shiver me cheddars, what a smell! I love cooking in the open air. Yeah, even my appetite is bigger outdoors. <laughs> I want to add some soy sauce, too. Mmm. That's a real mini walk! Guys, remember to subscribe! Let's add some vegetables. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hmm. Doo-doo-doo-doo. Mm. Hi, everyone! Sue, so ready to fire it up? We're making a new break oven. Hi, guys. Yes, it's gonna be hot. So we need a heat-resistant mat. Sammy's going to taste a new meal cooked on a fire. I won't just taste it, I'll cook it myself. Well, did you know that the marinade is half the battle when you roast chicken? Marinade? Isn't roasted chicken tasty by itself? 
You really think that the smell and the golden crust appear just like that? Well, I thought so. How do you make a marinade for chicken? Well, there's lots of ways. It depends on what you like. I like chocolate. Can we make a chocolate marinade? Um, I'm not sure that chocolate will do. Although it is used in the most unexpected dishes. <laughs> like? Well, for example, it's used as a sauce for bacon or fish. Ugh. I still like classic sweet chocolate more, Sue. I'm gonna go find recipes for my chicken. Let me remind you that we're building using a special technology. Checkerboard placement of the bricks. And here we'll put half a brick to make it look neat. Let's remove the extra concrete with a small trowel. This way. Now let's even out the walls before the concrete sets. It will make the oven sturdy. Mmm, I got hungry too while talking about chicken. I hope Sam has already chosen the recipe. Almost every time we lay bricks, we use cement. This chicken oven is not an exception. Let's make a special interlayer. If there's cement, there's wire. It will strengthen the structure. Sammy! Yes, Sue! Something urgent! I need your help. Watch closely. We need to make pieces like this. Can you do it? Easy peasy. Be careful with the pliers. By the way, I chose the marinade. I'll tell you later. Fine. While Sam's working with the wire, I'm going to make several more pieces. Voila! Sue, all done. Can I set them on the bricks? Go on. Watch me. C -c -c creativity Oh, a contest. Now you watch me. Magic outside of Hogwarts. <laughs> now let's strengthen the structure with these loops. Sammy, can you tell us about the marinade while I'm doing this? It's soy sauce, Sue. That's your whole intrigue? <laughs> I have to think if I should share my recipe with you or not. Guys, give a thumbs up if you like Sam's idea for the marinade. May I also recommend a recipe for a good mood? It's simple. <clears throat> First, subscribe to the channel. Second, hit the bell button. All the buttons are below the video. Wait for a notification. Open a new video and watch it. New craft is ready for consumption. Watch and enjoy. Mmm, yummy. I mean, your recipe is really good, Sammy. Anyway, I just poured the cement. Let's spread it evenly. According to the recipe, we need to let it set. Come on, I'll show you the cool chicken recipe I came up with. Ooh, intriguing. Done. The cement slab has set. Let's remove all the extra parts. By the way, we'll need the cement again, but later. Now let's take care of this slab. All right, we also need to cut the extra wire down there for aesthetics. Aesthetics? Are you decorating without me? <laughs> no, Sammy. I'm just making the oven look neater. We should keep constructing. Chicken is waiting to be roasted. You're right. Come on, let's keep working with the bricks. We need to make the perimeter walls of the oven. Hey, Sue, how is Samantha? You talked on the phone for so long. Oh, she's doing great. Samantha's going camping in the mountains. They'll stay overnight. Oh, did you warn her there'll be bears in the forest? <laughs> yes, Sammy, she knows the forest can be dangerous. But she also knows all of the precautionary measures. Plus, she'll be with a professional guide. I should call her to wish her luck and uh, not be afraid of bears. Great idea. Shall we add some magic? Now let's even out the walls and move to the next step of the construction. Here's a mold. A layer of cement. Wire to make it sturdy. And another layer of cement. Set the timer and wait until the cement sets. Da -dum, ba -ba, da -da 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 -da. Do you think it'll grow by itself? No, Susie, this won't do. You should build. <laughs> no, Sammy. I needed that for better adhesion with this part. By the way, I made some marks according to where we're going to put the next layer of the oven. So, I just realized something. Buildings like cooking. That's an interesting thought. Why? You always have to mix something. Cement, for example. 
Then you need to lay bricks like cakes, layer by layer. Right, you should also bake bricks like cookies. How? Very simple. To make the brick solid, you need to bake it in a special oven. This is the method used for clay bricks. There's also bricks of sand and lime, but they're not baked. Are they boiled? <laughs> well, you could say that. They're pressed and then steamed. Interesting. It really is like cooking. Yes. How's it going with your signature dish? It's going good. That's why I can talk to you a little bit. You can even help me build. Deal, but I will use my methods. Go on, the oven is at your disposal. Bricks, build city, boom! So, check this out. I can do some more magic. It's perfect. I can continue myself, but don't go too far. I'll need your magic powers later. Here's a tricky task. The roof of the oven is semicircular, so we'll use this auxiliary piece. We'll lay our bricks right on top of this plate. Let's also glue two pillars. Done. Now we can continue laying bricks. Spare no cement. Here you can use a little more of it than for the walls. Awesome, isn't it? We need special bricks for the sidewalls. Look! We will place a split into this slot. It will rotate. But shh, that's a secret. Sam thinks it's gonna be a simple oven, but I want it to be more special. It will have a real motor. The second wall has a special design. We'll set the motor right here. Let's moisten the wall a little. Now apply some concrete. There we go. We'll need this for attaching this metal piece. We'll need it for our rotating mechanism. We're going to put bricks around it to fix it from all sides. It's done! Now we need to grout the joints to make our oven shine. First, we should remove the extra cement with water and a brush. There we go. Clean it well, carefully. Don't rush. Perfect. Now let's make the joints white. You can use a simple syringe to make this process quicker and easier. This tool does the job really well. Don't miss a spot. And the last joints. There. Now take a sponge and carefully clean the extra grout off. It's all done! We can remove the auxiliary pieces. Here we go. I love motors. I'm always so happy to use them in our crafts. Let's connect the pieces with the help of wires this way. Perfect. Connect the battery. There. Our motor will spin this. Check out my cool costume! I'm King Triton! Oh, Mr. King Triton, may I have your trident? Yes, you may, but be careful. It can summon a whirlpool. Okay. I'll just place it here. By the way, be very careful with the sharp parts of this piece. Shiver me chatters. I thought it was a gift of the sea, but it was just your piece. It's one of the most important pieces. You'll put the chicken on it. Got it! It's time to bring my chicken! <laughs> Wait a moment. Check this out. I hid the battery here in the back and this motor that will make the spit spin with the help of this rubber band. Done! Now you can bring your chicken. I command you to cook! Are the coals hot enough? The chicken's on the trident! It's perfect! Guys, remember, don't mess around with fire. Ask an adult to help you. Sammy, where's your cook costume? Uh, 
I thought that King Triton was cooler. Maybe he likes to grill on his Triton, too. Um, that's possible. Wow, it's spinning so cool. The chicken will roast from all sides. Mr. Chef, uh, I mean, King Triton, will you share the recipe with us? Ahem. Soy sauce, some salt, pepper, and paprika. Genius lies in simplicity. Wow. Shall we taste your chicken? Mmm. Yummy. Bye-bye, guys. Enjoy your meal. 